Greetings church, so excited to be able to come to you this way and talk to you about Advent. You know, it's been on my heart for a long time that often when we come into the church and we come into this season, I really wonder how much we are being changed during this place in Advent. And so this year I wanted us to be very intentional. I want us to look at what really happens in Advent, what it means. I mean, I'm sure that most of you are like me and really we kind of follow the calendar of the world. And that means we go from Thanksgiving to Christmas Day. Uh, we go to all kinds of shopping and all the things for preparation, but I wonder if anything has really changed within us. And I hope, it's my great hope, that something will be changed within you this Advent season. Thomas Merton said, what is certain about Advent is not the coming of Christ, but our reception of him and the possibility of new life. You know, Jesus Christ already was born 2,000 years ago. But sometimes I think that in the church that we just try to pretend like Jesus was not born and we're getting ready for this baby. And then on Christmas Eve, we all sort of shout hallelujah and say the baby was born. It's a wonderful thing to do. But more importantly, in this season, I wonder what is being born within you. I wonder if this Advent season, you can truly think about the possibility of new life, the possibility of being born anew. If you've ever had a child, or if you've expected a child, if you're a mom or a dad, or even if you have been born, you know that there is expectancy around birth. So this Advent, as we engage in this study, I pray that you would allow something new to be born. I pray that you would come to this season and be expecting something new to happen within you, that you would be looking for the signs of the Messiah.